सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इज ए प्रोफेशनल इंजीनियरिंग डिसिप्लिन दैट डील्स विद द डिजाइन कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द फिजिकल एंड नेचुरली बिल्ड एनवायरनमेंट इंक्लूडिंग पब्लिक वर्क्स सच एस रोड्स ब्रिजेस कैनल्स डैम्स एयरपोर्ट्स सीवरेज सिस्टम्स पाइपलाइंस स्ट्रक्चरल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स एंड रेलवेज Civil engineering is traditionally broken into a number of sub-disciplines. It is considered the second oldest engineering discipline after military engineering, and it is defined to distinguish non-military engineering from military engineering. Civil engineering can take place in the public sector, from municipal public works. departments through to federal government agencies and in the private sector from locally based firms to global fortune 500 companies civil engineering is the application of physical and scientific principles for solving the problems of society and its history is intricately linked to advances in the understanding of physics and mathematics throughout the history because civil engineering is a broad profession including several specialized sub disciplines its history is linked to knowledge of structures materials science geography geology soils hydrology environmental science mechanics project management and other fields throughout ancient and medieval history most architectural design and construction was carried out by artisans such as stone masons and carpenters rising to the role of master builder knowledge was retained in guilds and seldom supplanted by advances structures roads and infrastructure that existed were repetitive and increases in scale were incremental one of the earliest examples of a scientific approach to physical and mathematical problems applicable to civil engineering is the work of archimedes in the 3rd century bc including archimedes principle which underpins our understanding of buoyancy and practical solutions such as archimedes screw brahmagupta and indian mathematician used arithmetic in the 7th century ad based on hindu arabic numerals for excavation volume computations engineering has been an aspect of life since the beginnings of human existence the earliest practice of civil engineering may have commenced between 4000 and 2000 bc in ancient egypt the indus valley civilization and mesopotamia and shined iraq when humans started to abandon a nomadic existence creating a need for the construction of shelter during this time transportation became increasingly important leading to the development of the wheel and sailing the first private college to teach civil engineering in the united states was norwich university founded in 1819 by captain alden partridge the first degree in civil engineering in the united states was awarded by rensselaer polytechnic institute in 1835 the first such degree to be awarded to a woman 
was granted by Cornell University to Nora Stanton Blatch in 1905. In the UK during the early 19th century, the division between civil engineering and military engineering served by the Royal Military Academy, Woolwich, coupled with the demands of the Industrial Revolution, spawned new engineering education initiatives. The class of civil engineering and mining was founded at King's College London in 1838, mainly as a response to the growth of the railway system and the need for more qualified engineers. The private college for civil engineers in Putney was established in 1839 and the United Kingdom's first chair of engineering was established at the University of Glasgow in 1840. Civil engineers typically possess an academic degree in civil engineering. The length of study in three to five years generally and the completed degree is designated as a Bachelor of Technology or a Bachelor of Engineering. The curriculum generally includes classes in physics, mathematics, project management, design and specific topics in civil engineering. After taking basic courses in most sub-disciplines of civil engineering, they move on to specialize in one or more sub-disciplines at advanced levels. While an undergraduate degree, Bachelor of Engineering or Bachelor of Science, BNC or BSc normally provides successful students with industry accredited qualification. Some academic institutions offer postgraduate degrees, Master of Engineering or Master of Science, MEng or MSc, which allow students to further specialize in their particular area of interest. In most countries, a bachelor's degree in engineering represents the first step towards professional certification. And a professional body certifies the degree program. After completing a certified degree program, the engineer must satisfy a range of requirements including work experience and exam requirements before being certified. Once certified, the engineer is designated as a professional engineer in the United States, Canada, and South Africa. A chartered engineer in most Commonwealth countries. A chartered professional engineer in Australia and in New Zealand. Or a European engineer in most countries of the European Union. There are international agreements between relevant professional bodies to allow engineers to practice across national borders. The benefits of certification vary depending upon location. For example, in the United States and Canada, only a licensed professional engineer may prepare, sign and seal and submit engineering plans and drawings to a public authority for approval or seal engineering work for public and private clients. This requirement is enforced under provincial law such as the Engineers Act in Quebec. No such legislation has been enacted in other countries including the United Kingdom. In Australia, state licensing of engineers is limited to the state of Queensland. Almost all certifying bodies maintain a code of ethics which all members must abide by. Engineers must obey contract law in their contractual relationships 
with other parties. In cases where an engineer's work fails, they may be subjected to the law of tort of negligence and, in extreme cases, criminal charges. An engineer's work must also comply with numerous other rules and regulations such as building codes and environmental law. There are a number of sub-disciplines within the broad field of civil engineering. General civil engineers work closely with surveyors and specialized civil engineers to design grounding, drainage, pavement, water supply, sewer service, grading, dams, electric and communication supply. General civil engineering is also preferred to as site engineering, a branch of civil engineering that primarily focuses on converting a tract of land from one uses to another. Site engineers spend time visiting project sites, meeting with stakeholders and preparing construction plans. Civil engineers apply the principles of geotechnical engineering, structural engineering, environmental engineering, transportation engineering, and construction engineering to residential, commercial, industrial, and public works, projects of all sizes and levels of construction. Civil engineering systems is a discipline that promotes the use of systems thinking to manage complexity and change in civil engineering within its wider public context. It posits that the proper development of civil engineering infrastructure requires a holistic, coherent understanding of the relationships between all of the important factors that contribute to successful projects while at the same time emphasizing, emphasizing the importance of attention to technical detail. Its purpose is to help integrate the entire civil engineering project life cycle from conception through planning, designing, making and operating to decommissioning. Now look here for a summary of civil engineering. What civil engineers do? Civil engineers design, build, and supervise infrastructure projects and systems. Work environment. Civil engineers generally work in a variety of locations and conditions. It's, it is common for them to split their time between working in an office and working outdoors at construction sites so that they can monitor operations or solve problems on site. Most work full time. A very important question, how to become a civil engineer? Civil engineers need a bachelor's degree in civil engineering in one of its specialties or in civil engineering technology. They typically need a graduate degree and licensure for promotion to senior positions. Although licensure requirements vary by state, civil engineers usually must be licensed if they provide services directly to the public. Look at the pay amount. The median annual wage for civil engineers was 88,570 US per dollar in May 2020. Job outlook. Employment of civil engineers is projected to grow 2% from 2019 to 2029, slower than the average for all occupations. As infrastructure continues to age, civil engineers will be needed to manage projects to rebuild, repair, and upgrade bridges, roads, leaves, 
dams, airports, buildings, and structures of all types. State and area data. Explore resources for employment and wages by state and area for civil engineers. Look at the similar occupations. Compare the job duties, education, job growth, and pay of civil engineers with similar occupations. So there are some great information about civil engineers or civil engineering.